Hello and welcome to the NVIDIA Insight Graphics 2025.5 release spotlight. In this release, graphics capture adds shader editing. LSS hair primitives now work in the ray tracing inspector. GPU trace introduces workflow and performance improvements. Several UIs now show full shader call stacks. The shader debugger has improved integration with Windows system settings and there's a new look for the Insight Graphics documentation. Graphics Capture provides a new foundation of tools and workflows for debugging D3D12 and Vulkan applications. You can now edit shaders when replaying a capture. This allows you to rapidly iterate without restarting and see how your changes affect timing and visuals. To inspect and modify shaders, you'll need to start live replay mode. Choose the shader from the API inspector or shader browser. You can freely edit the shader or any included files and also configure the compiler. Compiling a shader creates a revision history and you can select revisions to quickly compare them. Linear swept spheres were introduced with the Blackwell GPU architecture for optimized ray tracing of strand-based hair. When using graphics capture, you can now see LSS primitives in the ray tracing inspector, including the performance analysis modes such as the traversal timing heat map. GPU Trace now shows a list of all traces taken during the session, replacing the dialog that only showed the most recent trace. In the new dialog, you can rename traces, add user comments, and choose which ones to open. This eases workflows where you are taking multiple traces in a row with different settings in your application. The responsiveness of the user interface has been significantly improved when selecting timeline regions that have dense shader profiler information. The selected data is now processed in the background, allowing you to continue inspecting the trace until the tables fill in. In the Aftermath GPU Crash Dump Viewer, shaders that were running at the time of the crash now show a full call stack, clarifying the exact context of shader execution at crash time. Likewise, the Ray Tracing Live State Viewer in GPU Trace also shows the full stack now, making it easier to find opportunities to reduce live state. For more information about RT Live State, see the blog post linked in the description. Insight Graphics now offers to restore Windows system settings that are modified when running the shader debugger, in particular the TDR timeout delay. If you continue to use the system without resetting the TDR, a window will remind you upon each reboot and offer to set it back. Finally, We've updated the documentation with a modern theme and reorganized the hierarchy to be easier to browse. Some features of the new theme include a dark mode, light mode toggle and highlighting of search terms when clicking on a result. Thanks for watching. Insight Graphics is available to download for free with the links below. You can explore developer.nvidia.com tools tutorials to see the latest resources for getting started.